Welcome back, Patriot fans, for another edition of Coach's Corner. Today we're joined by the assistant coach of the Patriots, Eric Conkle. Eric, good to see you again. You too, Bill. Going to look at the upcoming game with GW coming up on Wednesday night right here at the Patriot Center, 7 p.m. tip-off time. And it's the third of five straight at home, one of the first times in a long time, first time since Coach Larneg has been here that you've had that many home games. Talk a little bit about uh, the process of putting that schedule together and how good it is for these guys with exams coming up to not have to leave campus. You know, I, I wouldn't say it was totally by design. It's a little bit just luck and a little bit of how each team schedule was turning out. So many times when you schedule, it's I've got this date, I've got this date too. I don't have this date, but I have this date. And okay, let's let's put the game there. So, but we're happy to be at home. We're happy to have some a good string of home games to uh, be right here, be able to have a lot of practice time, very little travel time, and really get better. Well, two wins in a row through the first five games of this homestand. Uh, a nice one over Radford last week, and then on Saturday you beat Florida Atlantic 66-51. Before we get to GW, talk a little bit about that Florida Atlantic game. Uh, 51 points for them, uh, probably one of the lower totals they're going to have on the season. They're, they're a talented team, and we were, we were very pleased with how we defended, and that was the major area of concern for us was containing their guards, not letting them get by, get into the paint, and get us fouled. You know, uh, they are one of the better teams in the country at getting foul, getting to the foul line, and not turn it over. And we thought we did a pretty good job in both areas. Talk about the game Mike Morrison had. Kind of a breakout game for him this season anyway, where he gets 18 points, a couple of block shots, really dominated on the inside against one of the better shot blockers in the country. Yeah, he went right at him. I think there was a little aspect of him knowing a lot of those guys from growing up in Florida. But it was a great game for him. The guys did a very good job of finding him and getting him in positions where he's successful. A lot of uh, lob plays or little plays inside. He ran the floor. So he, he had a good game. I hope, hope he can build on that and continue to play that, well, you, that way. You're going to need him this week uh, against GW again coming up on Wednesday. Talk a little bit about what they're going to bring to the table. There's a somewhat of a revenge factor from last year to this year. We saw it with the Radford game where you guys got beat pretty bad down there last season. Put one on them up here a week ago. Uh, is it the same mindset, at least for the team, where they go, hey, we remember what happened when we went downtown last year? Sure, I think you always remember. Uh, I think you also know that you're a different team. They have a different team with different players. It's a different situation, but you know the names are still the same on the front. and. You never want to lose any game. You never want to get beat badly in any game. So I, I know the guys are focused. They're excited about playing a great home game in front of the students uh, come Wednesday. Uh, it's going to be a really good game. They've got a talented group of guys. Uh, Tony Taylor really scores the ball well. Uh, Joseph Katuka inside is a presence. And they're going to pressure. They're going to pressure. They're going to try to create tur uh, uh, force turnovers and they rebound the ball very, very well on the offensive end. They had a recent game where they had 23 offensive rebounds in one game, so we've got to keep them off the backboards. It's the second of four games against the Atlantic 10 this year. Talk about why so many games against that conference. Did it just work out? Do you feel like that's a nice measuring stick before you get into conference play? Yeah, we, we want to play the best teams we can, and again, in scheduling, it's so much of what teams are looking for, and you have to find a, a connection with somebody, and it appears that for whatever reason, four Atlantic 10 teams wanted to play us, and we're happy to do it. We know it's a great league with great teams, and those are the type of teams we want to play. I know you guys would like to play more local teams. You'll get to something going maybe with a Georgetown or even a Maryland if they, if they would agree to it, but it's a nice start to get GW. I know they've kind of uh, labeled this the battle of the orange line as far as the metro goes, but it's always good to play local teams. I think it's terrific. I think what uh, the city of Philadelphia does with their games creates a lot of local interest. I, I know we would love it from the standpoint of staying close and the familiarity and, the, and it's great for fans. It's great for fans that have a connection to the teams locally and be able to watch them play. All right, so against GW on Wednesday night, obviously ball handling is going to be a key factor as they like the pressure. So does that put the emphasis on Cam Long, Andre Cornelius, and coming off the bench, a guy like Vertrell Vaughns, to, to be able to handle their pressure and get guys on your team where they're supposed to be on offense? No question. So important for us is not turning the ball over because that's – we call it like it's like a pick six, you know, it's in football where you, th you turn it over and people are able to just run down the field and, and get an easy score. We don't want that. Um, those guys need to get us organized, get us where we need to be, and then not only be able to handle the pressure, but then be able to get us shots that we want. So important for us to get shots that we're looking for. 
Coach L always talks about if we can get between 16 and 20 assists per game, we're going to be in pretty good shape. You guys have hit that the last two times out. Has there been a difference from when we were down in Charleston to coming back home in the guys as far as making sure they get those assists? It's, it's been an emphasis since really last year and something that we always talk about. If we can get uh, easy shots, get a lot of catch and shoots, rhythm type opportunities, we're going to be in good shape. So getting a lot of assists is a major, major measuring stick for our, our future. All right, well, coming up Wednesday, it's GW and Mason right here at the Patriot Center. This has been Coach's Corner with assistant coach Eric Conkle. We'll see you again later this year, Coach. We appreciate it. Coming out, tip-off again, 7 o'clock Wednesday night here at the Patriot Center. George Mason taking on George Washington.